Hi Scorpio, welcome to your Harsh Truth reading for September 17th through October 16th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the Recommend a Reader shout out, which goes to James 13 Wicca. Love and support to him. Hopefully you get a chance to stop by, check him out, show him some love and support if you like what he has to say. This is intended to be read as a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. All right, Scorpio. Craigie, Scorpio. All right. Scorpio, harsh truth for Scorpio. So harsh truth for Scorpio. Four of Pentacles. Good for you. Standing your ground. <laughs> Judgment. Ten of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Seven of Swords. And Queen of Cups. All right. So, let me get my little guys here. What's this Judgment about? So we got ten, nine. We got a couple of nines here. All right, so you kind of, it's almost like you're at the end of your evidence gathering stage or realizations about things. You've got the awareness or the realizations that you wanted, that you needed to have everything kind of come together or be cemented. To, you have the understanding now. It's like enough has happened, enough evidence has been uh, gathered, shall we say, and this is you reviewing it. All right, so what's this judgment about for Scorpio? Six of Swords. Okay, so what's this Ten of Wands? This is Ten of Wands. Magician. Okay. What's this Nine of Pentacles? Queen of Swords. Whoa, okay, something's happened. <laughs> what what the heck happened? You could be dealing with Libra, Gemini, or Virgo. Um, Cancerian here. What did you you turned a corner? Because um, I think this is you just kind of taking stock of everything and wanting to move on from what you would consider kind of I don't want to say a disaster, but just like this period of your life where there was a lot less under your control or happening for you that you would have liked. It's not, it's not a disaster. That's the first word that flew into my head, but it's almost like, especially this past nine months, I get nine months, um, this, it's just been like this, hey, okay, nine, there it is, this haze. So it's, it, all of a sudden, here you are back in control, right? Um, taking no prisoners and deciding that, you know what, I'm worth more, I'm worth better because your person is still trying to figure out how to have it all. They're still kind of wanting to figure out how to make it work, how to have it all. Not to choose, but to have you and whatever else they're not leaving for you. So this is you deciding to have done with it and off you go and you're standing your ground and you are in your own space and you're going to take your cookies elsewhere. No more cookies. This is Nine of Cups about for Scorpio. This is like a decided, decisive shift here. The decisive. Look at you. It's this. And I think, I mean, okay, so we've had this decisive shift. This could be you ending it. This could be you having a heart to heart or like not a heart to heart, but just like, a, look, this is how this is going to happen or... Um, you saying, you know what, I've decided to cut this off and move on because I just can't. And, and there's no emotional involvement here. You're not, um, you're not reacting from emotion. You're beyond that. You're taking a look at, um, at what has happened, what's transpired. And you're like, you know what, I just, I, uh, no, you might still somehow mean some kind of maintain some kind of contact with this person, but you're not going to be involved the way you once were with them. The focus has shifted for you. I think your self, um, I think this is you stepping into prioritizing yourself more than connection with this person. Not, you know, no judgment, no shade to them, but 
there's been a shift because your person just isn't making the moves that they need to make to be able to sustain connection with you. It's getting, it's, it's about your self-respect at this point. What's this? Nine of cups. Good for you. Nine of cups. The star. You don't have to wait that long. But look at this, the both, you got wishes, yay. Okay, so this is, we got two wish cards here. <laughs> this is, you know, wanting to be happy over, just wanting, wanting better after this haze, nine months of haze, now you're wanting better for the future. And you realize it took you a while to get here, it's gonna take a while to clean it up, but you're, you're okay with that because you've got your hopes up and you're like, you know what, <clears throat> excuse me, I've never been this low. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's not about being low. It's just that it took a while for things to get mucked up like it is. And it's going to take a while to kind of come out of that. And you're okay with that. You're, you're okay with things lightening up over time and you getting back to yourself over time. And this is about you forsaking the connection with this person so that you can have happiness in the moment. So you can get back to being happy and it being about you and you're the focus. What's this Seven of Swords about? What's this Seven of Swords about? Three of Wands. You... <laughs> Say it out loud so I can get my words under control. All right. That's the Seven of Swords and the Three of Wands. Uh-huh. I have some choice words about that in a minute, but give me a minute. What's this Queen of Cups about? This could be Cancerian. What's this Queen of Cups? Queen of Cups for Scorpio. All right, so we got Four of Wands. good for you okay so here's the thing your person's not going to want to leave it lie they're not going to want to take no for an answer they're going to be quite restless um this is not going to sit well with them you making a decisive um or just just not being emotionally caught up in this anymore is going to be kind of something that your person is going to have a hard time with because it means that you're starting to leave and i am in no way saying that yeah good for that you know, such and such, and they're this and that. They're using, I'm not saying that, but it is going to be unlike you. It's going to be like, kind of like, well, what's going on? Why are you being this way? Or why are you simply because there's been a shift for you and you're like, I just don't want to wait around anymore. Like, I don't want to lay low. I don't want to um, wait for you. I'm tired of waiting. I want things to happen for me. And I mean, we got Nine of Cups, Star Card, The Sun. Like, this is all things turning around for you because you've decided to transition out of this connection. And this is about, this is all about someone that was not able to plan for a future with you to make it happen. And they're still hoping that they can have their cookies or their cake and eat it too. Um, this is someone that still wants to keep the, the connection with you alive, even though they're otherwise occupied over here. And this doesn't feel like it's somebody at work sorry, uh, somebody's work. It doesn't feel like it's somebody's job. It doesn't feel like somebody's overseas or we've got things. This feels like someone's involved with someone else and they still want connection with you. They're still trying to figure out a way to make that work. They're still wanting to figure out a way to keep you connected to them. And it's almost like they're throwing out nets and they're throwing out whatever to, to kind of get to see if that's going to be what makes you want to stay or reconsider things like that and it looks like you've kind of come full circle with this and you're just like no because at, at this point it's about my happiness and about my self-respect and it's that has kind of put things into perspective for you and i think this person your person is still wanting to negotiate that they're not wanting to um they're not wanting to to let go so easily and they're certainly not wanting to give you your space to uh, think about this because they it's almost like they want to maintain a consistent presence. They don't want you to have time to think about this because if you do, you'll see it for what it is or you'll see more clearly and that leaves them in deficit because they're not happy in their current situation. 
Um, and if you go, there goes their support system. You know what I mean? So that this is your your departure, you're phasing this out is really going to force them to look at their situation and how unhappy they are. Um, and that, you know, who wants to face that, right? I mean, and I'm not being facetious. I'm serious. Like that's going to be... It's going to be staring them right in the face and it's going to be uncomfortable. Could be dealing with the Leo or Cancerian or Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo or Libra or uh, Sagittarius or Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. All right. Did I do everything? I didn't know. Yet yeah, no. That was for Scorpio. Good for you though. It's like you're taking stock and you're like, yeah, no. And this is you focusing on your own happiness and you're, it's, it's like they're just not going to want that. The focus is going to shift to you wanting to be around friends and family and those that can uplift you. Um, those that can act as a counterbalance whenever that native thinking or when that kind of need or despondency sets in or like, oh, when you start beating yourself up. Um, this is you surrounding yourself with a support system and standing your ground because of it, because you've got good support. Scorpio. <laughs> Look at that, the sun. So we've got the sun twice here. Yay! This is um, this is the successful resolution of an issue. Brighter days ahead. You've made the right choice. Confirmation, affirmation, victory, whatever you want to call it. This is you stepping into the sunlight or the spotlight and being happy being happy with your life again because of choices that you made and decision not just choices but decisions and that's that's more of like a a final act you can have choices but not do anything about them but decisions usually lead to a finality of action what else for <clears throat> yeah this is all this was all about plans that were not going to come to fruition at least not in a time frame that you wanted. That's for Scorpio. Page of Wands, there's that delay and cutting things off. Yep, there's that delay. Um, someone could be kind of getting a little petty or childish about their communication, of getting a little vindictive. Um, but this is a lack of forward movement. This is an affair. This is someone that might be kind of um, demanding, kind of coming on strong at, you know, the inopportune time. Like, okay, where was this sort of pursuit months ago? Why now? It's like an ill-timed pursuit because then the intention rings hollow. It's like you're just doing this for positioning or strategizing. You're not doing this out of sincerity. This is not thought out. You're not leading the troops here. This is you doing this just to maintain something or, or strategically doing so. And we see that here too with the seven of swords. And so there's no um, forward movement. This is also an affair that gets cut off because someone has some realizations. And I remember, I think it was the last reading that um, we were kind of, there was like this, oh, have you turned a corner? It's been coming for about a month now in the readings. And this is the finality of it and you phasing out. And then we've got the sun card twice. So that is definitely brighter days ahead. This was the right decision and you've got a lot coming in in the next three months. So we're gonna be looking forward to that. What it is, I don't know, but you got three things. I don't know if it's a job offer. I don't know, one of them is romance. Um, one of them feels like something different with your job. And I don't know what the third thing is, but there's three. By December, there's three things coming in. Like pivotal, huge, good stuff. Like sun stuff. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. Scorpio. Yay. You fist bump. All right. Um, I hope this was helpful and I am so glad to see you feeling happy again because I think for a while it was quite frustrating. So yay you. And I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care.